In this lesson, you'll learn how to make copies using the CE Lights copy function. When using its copy function, it only makes copies of the last design that was sent from the computer. Once a design has been cut and is in the cutter's memory, we can make copies by first pressing the copy button. In the copy menu screen, there are a few simple options to set. First, let's set the spacing between each copy to 0.24 inches a little under a quarter of an inch spacing. And then press the check mark to accept the new setting. Next, let's set the number of copies to three. Since we're using a roll of media to make copies, we can leave media change mode to off for right now. To start the process, press the check mark. The cutter will start the first copy, and as it starts, the screen shows which copy is being cut. In this case, the first of three copies. If you have sheets of media, after cutting the first job, go ahead and press the copy button before you unload and remove the media. This time we will enable the media change mode since we have multiple sheets to cut. Next we can set the number to three copies. And then press the check mark to start the process. The control panel will display which copy is about to cut and then ask us to load the media. At this point, remove the already cut media and load the next sheet, which will be the first copy. After we load the media, press Load Media, press Sheet. It will proceed with finding the edges to load it, Scan for the registration marks. And then start cutting the first copy. Once it has cut the first copy, we can unload and then reload the media. Press Load Media. It will then process the next copy. Finally, load the final sheet and start the last copy. 